Steel Series definitely caught my attention with this one. Finally, a gaming mouse with USB-C and an ergonomic shape to boot. I had to get my hands on it to test it out. So let's crack this tan colored box open and see what's inside. So what's in the box? The Prime Wireless comes with the gaming mouse, USB-A to USB-C cord, USB-C wireless receiver, the receiver extender, and the user manual. The USB-C cord can't be understated. This will mean much faster battery charge times. Most gaming mice use micro USB, so shout out to SteelSeries for stepping it up. The ergonomic shape of the Prime Wireless mouse is designed for right-handed players. Sorry, lefties. Oh, okay. For you righties that are still with me, I can't recommend this mouse shape enough, especially if you're an Ergo fan. If you don't know, Ergo mice are designed to put your hand in more of a handshake shape, which takes pressure off your wrist and forearm. While the Prime Wireless isn't the most extreme example of an ergo shape, it hits the sweet spot for me, just like that last bowl of porridge Goldilocks slurped up. Loki, why are we telling our children a story about a little girl who breaks into houses and eats your soup? Like, what? While it's not exactly a good look breaking into houses and all, you know what is a good look? The Steel Series Prime Wireless. All right, jokes aside, the Prime Wireless is a nice looking mouse. The matte finish definitely shows all those nasty oils you've been stockpiling on your fingers. SteelSeries claims it's easy to clean, but we both know you're not even gonna bother. Moving on to the specs, we get a 100 to 18K CPI optical sensor, five programmable buttons, 100 hours of battery life at one millisecond response time plus UBC fast charge. It weighs in at 80 grams, a pretty competitive weight, but not super light, and features Prestige OM switches. These switches are something special. In other gaming mice, the switches are made from a very thin piece of metal. That thin piece of metal is going to wear out over time and that click will start to feel and react less powerfully. The Prestige OM switch utilizes a steel torsion spring. Check out how thick that boy is. It's held in place by a specially milled neodymium magnet. Unlike mechanical parts in a traditional micro switch, the magnetic force will not degrade with use. Steel Series claims this is supposed to cure the most frustrating problem PC gamers face with their gaming mice, the dreaded double click. So SteelSeries GG is their proprietary software, and in my opinion, it's one of the best out there in the gaming peripheral industry. And the Prime Wireless gets to take full advantage of it. With only five programmable buttons, this mouse does leave a little to be desired on this front for me, but it's not really surprising that we only get two side buttons as that seems to be the standard middle ground for gaming mice these days. For you MOBA and MMO nerds out there looking for a mouse with a lot of buttons, you'll have to look elsewhere. I recommend checking out the Logitech G604 here in the top right corner of the video. The Prime Wireless features four virgin grade PTFE feet across the bottom all at the various points of contact. What does virgin grade mean? It's plastic that has been newly created without any recycled materials. Recycled plastic isn't always of the highest quality, so I can understand why SteelSeries decided to go with the good stuff. All right, now we're gonna do a little sound test for you. Here at Pulse Review, we are on a journey to find the best gaming peripherals out there. If that's something you're into, then consider subscribing and maybe even joining our Discord. The link is down below in the description. Coming in at $129.99, or as I like to call it, $130, this mouse is expensive. However, this mouse is fairly unique being one of the few Ergo gaming mice out there. 
This is my first time getting my hands on an Ergo mouse, and personally, I loved it. If you have small hands or you want to shed a few grams off this thing, SteelSeries has you covered with the mini version of this mouse. Honestly, the only con I can think of is the CPI switch is on the bottom, making it a bit difficult to do on the fly changes. That doesn't bother me a ton and I don't think too many gamers are switching up their CPI mid game. So if you are considering picking up this mouse, I dropped an Amazon link in the description below. If you guys have any additional questions I didn't answer in the video, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'm pretty quick with responding. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.